certainly a warm one across Connecticut, especially away from the shoreline. Temperatures still sitting in the 70s, low 70s out there, 72 in Hartford, 71 in Willimantic, 68 in Meriden right now, 66 in New Haven, only 57 in Bridgeport. So starting to see some influence off the ocean there. A live look in our ICAM in Torrington, just a little bit more cloud cover than what we saw earlier in the day. Very similar on our ICAM here in Mystic. And we do expect clouds to increase just a bit overnight tonight. Over the next several hours, temperatures will start to fall back. We're into the 50s after the sun sets, and then we will continue to drop into the mid and upper 40s. Here's our stationary front. It's right here. Uh, off to our west, there's a bit more active weather. This red box highlighting a tornado watch. Some active severe weather, again, expected off to our west. The Storm Prediction Center still highlighting that double moderate risk. So this is a level four out of five risk. The areas in the red there across parts of Iowa and Illinois and then south into parts of uh, Missouri and Arkansas. For us, we're not too concerned about severe weather even when this cold front actually moves through. But before we get there, we have to deal with a damp and dreary day. High pressure on Wednesday, tomorrow will bring wind out of the northeast. We're on the chilly side of the front. It's not until late tomorrow where the warm front actually lifts back north. But by Thursday morning, we are in what we call the warm sector of this storm. Between the warm front and the cold front, temperatures spike on Thursday, especially across western Connecticut, before the cold front comes through and brings a line of showers and perhaps thunderstorms later Thursday evening. Winds again tomorrow out of the northeast, keeping it damp, dreary, and uh, chilly. Expecting temperatures to stay in the upper half of the 40s tomorrow with clouds, drizzle, and perhaps some showers. By Friday, though, we're trending drier. It's a bit windy on Friday. And then Saturday, with high pressure settling in off to our, or rather overhead, uh, we will see the winds calm down a bit with sunshine expected to last through the weekend. So certainly looking pretty good for any Easter plans you may have. Today, sun rose at 629, sunset 719. By the end of the month, that goes to 548 a.m. for sunrise, 748 p.m. for the sunset. So we gain another hour and 10 minutes of daylight as we get later into the month and the long term outlook as we get into the middle of the month still favoring above average temperatures tonight lows in the 40s for most tomorrow we don't really improve much mid to upper 40s maybe a town or two hits 50 degrees especially if we can rally very late in the day as the warm front lifts north 73 inland Thursday could be a little bit cooler across portions of eastern Connecticut, chillier at the shoreline in the 60s. Friday, about 55 to 60, chillier Saturday before we warm up into the 60s starting Sunday all through the beginning of next week.